I have no idea how to rebuild a gasoline engine. However, I am going to give it a try. I've taken the carburetor off and the fuel tank off. And I've taken the induction coil also off. And I have here a rebuild kit. Piston, lapping compound for the valves. Valve spring tool, new seals, piston rings, and new valves. First step I'm going to do is remove the head. Most of the bolts I've taken off already. I've got two left. I should also note I've cleaned the engine pretty good. I'm put the head up there, face up. Clean the self-controlling throttle mechanism. It was a mess. Next thing I'm going to do is take the valve cover off. That is the valve cover. I also note that I put the screws back in the screw holes. So this is the intake valve. And that is the X uh, valve for the exhaust. I'm not going to take the exhaust muffler off because it's corroded on there and if I try to force it, it'll break. This is the valve compression tool. I'm hoping that it is the right size and shape. There are different valve compression tools for different valves springs and uh, assemblies and stuff. I want to compress the tool, the springs, and then reach in there with needle nose pliers and remove the keepers that are underneath the springs. The intake valve is now off. I compressed the spring with the spring tool and I slid the keeper off center and then the valve pulls right out through the head. Now I'll do the exhaust valve. I should also note that the in input valve is flat on the top and it has a end like that. The exhaust valve has a different end and it has a dimple on the top. The exhaust bell's keeper is radically different than the input. Got two parts of a drum here cut in half that wedge inside that little disc there. I'm hoping I'll be able to put it all back together when time comes. Next up is to remove the crankcase. I removed most of the bolts except two. There's the great crankcase housing. The centrifugal clutch right there. There's the crankcase. The last thing I want to do is take them gears out because it's counterbalanced. There's a counterbalance weight that counterbalances the piston weight that right there with the yellowish paint on it is the counterbalance and I do not want to mess that up. So what I need to do is take the piston ring cap off with two bolts right there and I need to do that real gentle so that I don't bang the finish on the crankshaft. The piston cap bolts have a keeper on them. It's just a piece of uh, steel that has been bent up around the hex of the bolt to keep it from vibrating loose. I need to peel those back and then remove the bolts themselves. Two bolts for a piston cap. I should also point out there's an oiler, that arm right there grabs oil and flings it up and has to go back the way it went in. 
Here we see the two bolts almost removed, and we have the keeper here that is bent over the hex on the bolts, and we have this oiler heel here that resides on this bolt. We also have that centrifugal clutch mechanism there. It's actually a throttle. The cap came off. And I've left this assembly loose like that to show how it goes back together. There's the piston. pulls right out up the piston head. And we'll do more tomorrow. The piston has three rings in it. The bottom one is the oiler, and there's two rings on top that do the actual compression. Piston is held to the piston rod with this link pin. And link pin is set in there loosely, and it is held in place with a clip on each end. Clips are pulled off, and the link pin is just pushed through. Should be loose. Otherwise, you'd get a hell of a lot of friction there if it's too tight. I have a new piston. I have a new piston that comes with new clips and a new link pin. Definitely want the new link pin because the old one will have a uneven wear due to the motion of the piston. And you want to use a new piston. And as far as I know, it's okay to use the old piston connection rod. So I need to keep the piston rod and discard the piston and the rings and also the retaining uh, link pin. Here's a new piston on the piston rod. I push that link pin in so that it is just below the groove where the the uh, retaining clips go. I'm going to put one retaining clip in there and then I'm going to push that uh, pin upwards which means downwards on this side and put in the other retaining clip. The retaining clips are now in. It is time to put in the piston rings come with the repair kit, the rebuild kit. The oiler ring comes in three pieces. The middle piece is corrugated accordion and then there's two rings above and below it. It's easier to put the middle one in first and then the two rings on the end afterwards. There's a shape to the rings themselves, so one will want to follow the instructions that come with the rings. Also want to put the rings gaps and 90 degree angles. Actually, maybe 180 degrees. I put the piston back in the engine housing. I squirted some clean oil on top. Now ready to put the piston connecting rod cap back on to the camshaft.